Hey everyone, I am Aru Sikshita and you are watching Current Tech Arush English. Please subscribe, like and share my channel so I will be motivated for creating technical videos like this so let's get started. Today we are continuing our full stack web developer series and this is our part 33 and in this video we are going to discuss a new property that is position and we will study two values of this property and those two values are relative and absolute these values are very amazing because it can adjust a we are taking an example we have a div and we are adjust, we want to adjust one div at the top left and add one div at the top right and one div at the center one div at the bottom left and one div at the bottom right for that task we will use position absolute and relative and this and we will take the example of this also so that it can be clear in your mind so let's go to our computer screen and get started so i have prepared a document for you and i don't know how this thing comes so this is that document this is the very basic document and anyone who watches my series can create this thing so i am just scrolling the code and you can watch the code and here is my style sheet And when you will do this, this this thing you will see this thing in your browser window when you will run this in live server so here a heading will be shown and here a div and five inner divs will be formed here and we want that div 1 to be top left and div 2 to be top right and div 3 to be bottom left and div 4 to be bottom right and div 5 to be center so here i have just written a selector and in for using relative and position relative position and absolute First step, we have to decide the position of the parent and the parent position will must be the relative for using absolute for the child. So we will use position property here and relative. And when we will save this, you will see this nothing will happen here right now. But if I give this div position to absolute and then and then you will see div 1 has gone why that has gone because div 2 is overlap on the div 1 and div 1 has no position it we can adjust it anywhere and it will not like margin because if we use margin for this thing it will adjust one scrolling bar and it will also increase the parents width and height so we don't use margin because that is not useful in the, these kinds of time i am not saying that margin is waste but in this kind of in this kind of task we don't use margin I am doing the same for div2 now div2 be, will be hidden because div3 is overlap on the div2 and div1 then if you do the same with with these these all divs then they all will be overlap 
and only the file will be the file will be shown and of the width will be the height will be gone of the parent div the little bit of height the little bit of height is given here but that is because i have given margin in this not margin i have given padding for the parent div of 5 pixels so this is of 10 pixels because firstly it will take the upper margin then bottom side margin and if you add the both then it will be 10 pixels so it's of 10 pixels margin so here i am just doing the task that i have to done here so in position absolute we have to we have some properties in it top zero left zero and if it will do this thing then it will be not ignoring the pad it will be ignore the padding and go to the top left corner and that's why it's looking a great design of div 5 you can also create the design with help of this technique but you can also use the border instead of doing these this all task so after that we have after position absolute we have to do at the second div we want this to be top right corner so we are giving the top as zero not top as zero we are giving top as zero and left 200 then let's see uh, hundred percent it's hundred percent now it's on the top right corner after that we can move here at this div here we want this div to be bottom left corner so we will give the top to hundred percent and left to zero and if I go here uh, it's at the top left we also have i think we also have to give it's a special width and height so height will be uh, suppose we give the height as Mm. let's give the height as 50 vh let's see but 50 vh is so large but why it is giving me this small size let me inspect okay now it's opened in the console so i am opening opening the element then inspect this div and when i will inspect 
we will see it's cutting this but why Okay, it's because we have given its width to auto add down sides and CSS goes, CSS flow goes from top to bottom. So it's ignore this line. So if I again go here. fifty VH. Now you can see it's working. So now we have two diffs left. Diff four and diff five. So here I will write top hundred because we want that to the bottom and we want the left to be also hundred so that it will be on the top this corner. it's here then we can again use just the same logic the same logic will work here also but it will be not perfectly in the center it will be not perfectly in the center because it's starting point this point will be at the center not it will be completely at the center see it's a starting point and if it's a starting point at the center of the dio but it's not at the center we want this diff center point to the parent diff center point the and when they will match then our task will be done so we are saying that in css we have a property you can't understand this the meaning of this property but i am using that right now and it's minus 50 and minus 50 now our div are, is at the center we can do the same with every div because it is going outside and that's our problem so we will just copy this line and paste that everywhere and now our problem is solved we have the, our task to be done and that's